Hello, how's it going, guys? How's it going, fellow photo files? My name is Ile, and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now, I posted these photos on Instagram and made a poll asking my followers if they wanted to see how I made them, and of course, the answer was yes. But I'm gonna take it a step further than just showing you how to edit a photo, but also show you how to do it in a video. And of course, if you're interested in more tutorials like this, subscribe to my weekly vlog. Now, the first thing you have to understand is the concept behind it. So this trick is created with two layers of photography or video, one with you in it and one with you behind it. And it's very important that the composition Position, the framing, the focus, the lighting, everything, the settings, they have to stay the same in the two frames. That is very important. If a friend is doing it for you and he's doing it handheld, just make sure to explain that they cannot refocus on the background once you leave the frame. The focus has to be exactly the same. Although if you have slight variations in the composition, maybe he moved or tilted the camera, then that can be fixed in post-production. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna make two clips. One of me waving this hiking rod in front of my face, and the other one is just a few second clip of my empty room. If you think I look like an idiot, hit the thumbs up. Okay, so we now have our base material and we can get to editing. The photos I first throw into Lightroom and edit them to my taste and export for Photoshop. Here we put the picture of me on top of the picture without me. By the way, these pictures were taken by a friend handheld and they're not perfectly aligned, but all you do to fix that is select both layers and hit edit align layers, auto align, and it aligns them. Now just remove the part of the top layer that you want to be invisible with a mask layer using a brush, marquee tool or selection tool or whatever, and and voila, crop, export, and upload wherever. Now the video part is very similar, it just takes a little bit more work because you have to mask out every single frame. So instead of one picture, you have to do it through like 24 pictures if it's a one second clip or if it's a three second clip, it's 60, 72 frames, so fun. So import it into After Effects and you put one layer on top of the other layer and start masking out the part you want gone frame by frame. With more motion blur, you have to get creative with the feathering of the mask to kind of conceal that motion blur and make it look more realistic. And there we have it. Okay, now let's go select the winner of the giveaway. I found this weird website called Random Thing Picker. Put in all the names of the people who participated and we click pick one and we get Michelle. <laughs> this is awesome, like the irony of life because Michelle is my newest patron, my fifth to be exact. It's the person I don't know physically, personally, but they've been viewing my content for a while and recently have contributed to Patreon, which I find amazing. Thank you so much, Michelle. Welcome to the community and my little family of Patreon. I'm gonna get in touch with you and we're gonna figure out what exactly you want on this awesome handmade recycled paper transfer thingamajig. But when doing this giveaway, I started looking around for other giveaways on YouTube, social media, all over the internet, something interesting to participate in and I wanted to share it with you. So this one, for example, can win you an awesome full frame DSLR or mirrorless and I shared the referral link in the description. And of course, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in me looking for more giveaways like this to share with you guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new and as always, I'm gonna see you guys next week. Next week.